everyone, Religious Fanboy here again, and today we are reviewing Justice League Odyssey, issue number one. I am um, really enjoyed this issue. I I like that it's a team of like more obscure heroes, um, and characters, um, and I'm 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 happy that. Starfire's character design is more modest than it usually is. Um, and I am really, I really enjoyed the relationships between the characters. Um, Specifically, um, the relationship between Starfire and Cyborg. And, like, the main theme of, like, the main message of, like, guilt and, like, letting guilt kind of control our actions and, and how destructive that can be. That's kind of, like, the overall theme and takeaway of of this issue, I am, um, and, like, that's mainly conveyed through, like, the emotions Cyborg is feeling at, throughout the majority of the issue, um, and I am, um, I really recommend this story, it's very interesting, um, and, Kind of like seeing where like Jessica Jones is like this is via. I mean, Jessica, um, the female Green Lantern is like this is a violation of stuff, and also like saying that she will need to arrest them for the violation, but also like them talking to her, um, it was kind of, I was kind of surprised how much Starfire was kind of like a voice of reason for the team. Like, Cyborg did kind of fulfill that, but, like, when Cyborg was kind of being a little reckless due to the guilt he was feeling, um, like, Corey was able to be the voice of reason for him too, and I thought that I thought that's pretty interesting and fun. Um, and now I'm gonna read some passages about guilt, and, and we'll discuss those, and then I will close out the review. And with closing of this review, this is the last video of issue number one month, and yeah. This was very fun. I, I enjoyed doing ministry reviews again. This I I plan on doing them monthly, once a month after after starting in February. Um so yeah. Um thanks for watching these and and I and I really hope the, these videos are able to be helpful tools, especially like with the Bible studies and stuff. Um, I'm gonna start with Romans chapter 3, verses 9 through 20. When then are better. Then they not, not at all, for we have previously charged both Jews and Greeks that they are all under sin, as it is written there. There is none righteous, no, not one. There is none who understands. There is none who seeks after God. They have all turned aside. They, they have together become 
unprofitable. There is none who does good, not one that their throat is an open tomb. With their tongues, they have practiced deceit. The poison of asp is under their lips, whose mouth is full with curse, with cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are their ways, and the way of peace they have not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we know that whatever the law says, it says to those who are under the law that every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore, the deeds of the law, no flesh will be justified. Is sight for the law is knowledge of sin. This this talks about how like all human, every human is guilty of sin, um, and this is why people why um why the sacrifice Jesus made was so important was because. Like culturally, um, Israelites would would do animal sacrifices as a tone or certain types of sacrifices based on like the sin that was committed as as a point of atonement for one's sins. But what God God wants us to to choose to be with him and and desire a relationship with him because he loves us and he desires a relationship with us. So that's why Jesus had to die on the cross because he was the only perfect, completely pure sacrifice. So him, him dying on the cross would would pay would make it so all sins that were ever committed or ever will be committed could be forgiven so that if we chose to believe in him and and accepted God as our Lord and Savior We'd be a, we'd be able to have a relationship with him. Um, I'm gonna go to First Corinthians. Um, chapter 10, and I will read until till verse 14. Moreover, brethren, I do not want you to be unaware that all our fathers were under the cloud, all passed through the sea, all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea. All ate the same spiritual fruit and all drank the same spiritual drink, for they drank the spiritual drink of that of the spiritual rock that followed them, and the rock was Christ. But with most of them, God was not well pleased, for their bodies were scattered in the wilderness. Now 
these things became our examples to intend that we should not lust after evil things as they also lusted and do not become adulterers, as were some of them as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Nor let us commit sexual immorality as some of them did and in one day 23,000 fell. Nor let us tempt Christ as some of them also tempted and were destroyed by serpents. Nor complain as some of them also complained and let and were destroyed by the destroyer. Now all of these things happened to them as examples, and they were written for our um, admonition upon whom the end of the ages have come. Therefore, let him who thinks he stands take heed lest he fall. No temptation has overtaken you except such as a common, such as a common man, such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation, he will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. That talks about like referencing historical things. So like, I part of the reason why testimonies are important is because so that the people that we share our testimonies with and share, read, study scripture together with can learn from things that have happened in the past and things that have been written so that we can like use those to grow as well as and hopefully not make the same mistakes some of the same mistakes other people that came before us have and with that being said may god be with you and see you next time bye